Hello everybody, my name is Leo and in this video I would like to talk with you about timing, sharing the best exercises and all to improve it. You know, I think that the sense of rhythm, the timing and feel you have when you play is very very important, maybe the most important aspect of our playing, because it is one of the easiest thing that our listeners are going to receive, to understand. Therefore, I think that us, as musicians, we should spend our energies to develop the most we can our sense or rhythm. With this video, I would like to share one suggestion and two exercises to improve our timing. First of all, and obviously, always use a metronome when you practice. I use a specific app in my phone called Pro Metronome, this one. For instance, when I watch television and I want to practice, I start this app and I start playing. Just watching television and playing the guitar easily. The second thing I would like to share is a very powerful exercise, in my opinion, that I have learned from an instructional video of Ron Tal. Basically, we as guitarists tend to rush into the beat, trying to play as fast as we can. And this approach can ruin our playing, can result in a bad experience for our listeners. So, with this exercise, basically you have to set your metronome to 40 BPM. Yes, 40 BPM, so very, very slow. And then you have to play just the note of the beat in whatever scale you want, trying to be just a little bit behind the beat. Another good suggestion is while you practice, try to record yourself and then listen to your performance in order to verify if your time is right. So let's try to do it together. Once you have done one note per beat, you can try to do two notes per beat, and then triplet, and then four notes per beat. And then you have to try to combine them together, always trying to be a little bit behind the beat. Let's do it. Now let's try with the triplet. And now let's try to put everything together. to go on for hours feeling the beat as much as you can you have to try to learn to play just behind the beat or just with the beat or just before the beat for instance Pat Metini has a really great sense of rhythm and is able to play before the beat 
in the beat or just after the beat. So also this aspect of his playing contributes to the marvelous solo he actually performs. Now let's move to the second exercise that I have learned from an instructional guitar video of Emily Remler. Emily was a great guitar player who unfortunately died very young but leaving behind her a lot of very good music and two instructional videos that you should check out if you are interested in jazz guitar that are called Bebop and Swing Guitar and Advanced Jazz and Latin Improvisation. This exercise is actually great in my opinion in order to improve your sense of groove well, actually what jazz musicians call your swing. And I remember that I was struggling a lot with this exercise in order to do it properly at the beginning. Here the main concept is to put the accent in the right place. Typically we tend to ascend the first note of the beat. So for instance, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Basically with this exercise, you have to put the ascent in the other subdivisions of the beat. For instance, in the second beat, or for instance, in the third beat, or for instance, in the fourth beat. Also, with this exercise, you can play whatever scale you want. Here I'm playing a chromatic scale, something like this. So, as you may have noticed, I've started the exercise putting the ascent on the first beat and then I switch on the second. You should do it slowly and for a long time until you do it properly and you can switch the beat instantaneously. This exercise also helps you to make your solos much more interesting using different ascents and uh, highlighting different notes in the beat, increasing the diversity of your playing and so doing solos that are much more interesting for the listener. <laughs> These exercises have helped me a lot to develop my sense of rhythm and I practice them every day still today. So I really hope that they can help you too. Now we've reached the end of this video, I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. It will be of great help and you won't miss any of my future videos. See you in the next video. Bye bye.